Hi, my name is Katie Skilton and I'm a creative designer at Sizzix and today I want to share with you some cards made using our stamp sets. So these are lovely sentiment stamps that we've released in chapter two and what I've done, I've actually heat embossed them using white embossing powder and inked over the top and it creates a lovely resist technique. So if you're new to stamping, quite often you're only using black ink with them. So I just wanted to show you a different way to kind of get a different look with them. I think these are really cool, really summery. So I'm going to show you how to make these. So I'm going to start by taking a square piece of card. So this is four inches by four inches. And we're going to take our stamp. So this is an acrylic block. So basically for anyone who's new to stamping, you put these stamps onto an acrylic block. So they're sticky. Um, you don't have to stick them, they come already sticky, it's just the way they're made. So I'm just going to make sure this is nice and straight, and I'm going to position the flower in there too. So then I'm going to take some clear ink. So this is the Sizzix Clear Embossing Ink pad, and we are just going to pop it on here, so give it a really good coverage. It almost acts like a glue for embossing powder. Um, it's quite sticky. So we're going to stamp that, and we'll pop it in the centre of the four by four piece of cardstock and just give it a nice press down all over so you get a nice even coverage and remove it. So I don't know if you might not be able to see that, you will in a second. As soon as I um, pour some embossing powder on it, you're gonna be able to see this. So I'm just gonna pop some paper behind it because we're gonna sprinkle some white embossing powder. So we'll just sprinkle this over the top. I'm just gonna shake that off. So give it a good shake off and pop this down. So actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this now because when we start to heat emboss in a second, it's gonna blow everywhere. There we go. So pop that back in. Pop the lid back on. So this is where you use your heat tool. So you'd now take your heat tool and get it to a point where you can feel it's really nice and hot. And you're gonna to start to heat emboss the sentiment. So here, you've probably, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, pick it up on the camera but it's going to change it to a really lovely white, it almost goes from like a grey colour um, to a lovely white colour. Just do the flower as well. So you can see it changing there. I'll lift it up in a second so that you can see it. Make sure it's nice and embossed. I'll pick this up and hopefully you can see it. I don't know if the light catches it. You'll certainly see it in a second anyway. So that's one. So we've done the thank you one there, and I've done a couple more. So I've got happy birthday here and hello sunshine. So I'm going to just take some paper again because this time we're going to add some ink. So we'll take the thank you one first of all. And I'm going to take some of my oxides. Let's move these two out of the way a second. So we've got squeezed lemonade and spiced marmalade. So we'll start with the squeezed lemonade. I'm going to get the foam nice and covered, and we're just going to start add the ink. You'll see now that the um, sentiment starts to resist the ink. What we'll do at the end is we'll give it a good rub over with a cloth to just wipe off any ink because it's kind of got that shiny surface. The ink won't settle into it so we can just wipe it off. That's that. So in the centre we're going to add some of the spiced marmalade. So at the moment you'll see quite um, defined edges but in a minute we're going to blend them together it there on one of my ink pads. I keep rubbing it, it'll disappear. There we go. So we'll take the lemonade again now and we'll start to blend it and you'll see now the edges start to soften. We'll do the same on the top section. And it's just a case of blending those edges in. You could go over the orange a little bit because it won't um, cover it anyway. It'll just blend it in nicely. There we go. So now you can see you've got that thank you there. So just to add a little bit more interest to it, I'm going to spritz with some water. So we'll just add a little bit of water there and you'll see now you get this mottled effect. So we'll just give that a quick dry with a heat gun. Just dry off all these water splats. And then finally, I'm going to just take out a cloth. So this is just an old cloth, anything will do. And just rub over that ink and you'll see it becomes lovely and white and clear. So you can see now you've got that lovely sentiment shining through. So we'll do it with the others as well. So we'll take the Hello Sunshine and we'll use some different oxides this time. 
just remove my sponges because I keep them um, attached to the bottom of my ink pads actually. I keep all my sponges attached like this so I know which one goes with which. And I find that works really well for me. So just some little Velcro pads. So again now we're going to start this time with the twisted citron. And we're just going to add that to the edges. Do it again on the top. It's almost like magic coming through when you start to see the sentiment come through. It's a really good effect. So this time, I think this is the peacock feathers I'm using now. And again, just blend that so that the edges blend in to each other nicely. It's kind of no defined lines. It's just a really good fun way, something different to use your stamps. Add the lids back onto those. There we go. And I've got one final one to do, so we'll do this one a pinky colour. We'll spritz that one with water in a second once we've done the um, the other one. Let's turn this over because I don't want any of that ink going onto the pink ones. So this time we've got worn lipstick and picked raspberry. Let's add the worn lipstick first of all this time. So we'll just add this to the edges. Somehow I've got some blue ink here somewhere and I'm picking it up on my sponges. I'm not quite sure where it's even coming from. But we can cover that up in a minute once we spritz it with water. I have to place some on my sponges I think. Keep going over the top it will eventually fade. So then this is the um, pick for raspberry. It's quite annoying that blue mark, but shows for all human. There we go. So we'll pop those there and we'll give these a little spritz with water. We'll dry these off. It's a lovely effect. I love the mottled effect you get with this. Very summery feeling. So make sure this is dry before we rub it over with a cloth, otherwise we're just going to um, smear the water everywhere. Good dry, there we go. And again, we'll get our cloth. And we'll give that a good rub. See, I've not dried it there and the ink slightly come away, so make sure it's perfectly dry. So let's take these and then we can embellish them just with some little gems. So I'm just going to take some of the gems here. Just add some little sparkles. gives it that nice finishing touch. So once I did that, I've literally layered them on to some white card blanks that are just slightly larger, so it gives it a nice white border around it. And I'll pick these up to show you in a second. Let me grab these. So these are the ones that I was showing you earlier. I'll move these out of the way a second because they can be put onto cards in a second. So here we go. So these are the um, ones I did earlier. And you can see I've just layered them. So there's a slight border around the card. And I think it just offsets the white, the um, white sentiment on it. But really fun way, and they're lovely and raised as well. So when you've finished them, give them a nice clean off. You've got that lovely raised effect. Um, really good. I think if children like crafting, this is quite a good fun way because obviously, you know, they like stamping and they like the kind of magic effect that you get from it. So it's always worth a try. Obviously, you can do these with lots of your different stamps. We've got lots of different stamps. Um, if you do make anything, share them with us. We'd love to see them on Facebook, um, on Instagram. Share them with us. Make sure you tag us in them and we will have a little look at them. Thank you for watching and I shall see you again next week. Bye.